our program, you please click to do the drafting. Here is an illustration how I use a brisket to prepare our data. First of all, we need to create the layers. So I click layers, and from here I add a layers. So what we need to have in the Xeon, we need to have a EW cap letter EW dash boundary. Then you can set any color you want. After that one, I create one more. It's a EW dash platform. So this is a two important uh, layer we need to have it on to input data. Okay, after that, uh, first and almost, we need to do our project boundary. So I make a current of this layer as our current working layer. What I need to do, I just add I create a polyline to our projects. So I demark my project boundary. So make sure this all kind of uh, point must be snapped to the correct point. Don't just uh, what's so called extra flexibility to do it on. For here, I close it on type a C. So my project boundary is closed. After that one, I move to my platform. So I highlight the platform make it current over here then I start drawing my EW platform to the place where I need to have a make sure also snap to to the end point then I make a C to close it on so this is about the uh, where we place a boundary and platform your project boundary then you add your platform with the polyline then now it's a time for us to add the level for the platform what you need to do you can use a text entity to click on maybe you, you must make sure it place inside the project a, uh, platform area so I set the uh, text height rotation anchors then after that I key my level so this is uh, how we place a level inside the platform after day one you can either use another round for this one I may I to add the type of the property uh, I make simple I just copy it then I double click to edit this is RT1 so this is how we create and define the text inside the platform make sure it's inside we need a small study over there actually computer is when I click on the text there, computer is load into these coordinates. This is an insert point of that properties. So where we computer compute. So in a way, if you make sure this point must be inside this EW platform, else they will not consider there is a level into that. So from here, you can repeating do all the thing there until you finish all those input. After just now, you have been keying all those your level into uh, each platform with uh, object, project types, property types. Now it's a time for us to place some more level, which is called proposed level, mostly on the road. How we need to create a new layers? So here, I more preferable using the layer name called PL because for simple and easy to manage. So make it as a current. I change the color a bit, make it as easy to identify. Then using the same concept, I use a text entity to add the platform text. So also the same, set the high hex level, then key in your proposed level. So from there, you can continue do whatever the point you want to think you want to place, just put it on, then you complete it. Okay. Finally, you may get something like this. You get the PL, you place into your area. Somehow, certain part you can do like this. You can see PL-81.2. Our computer also can read it if you want to. Or you just want to using 83.5. Then you will do. But just remember, this is a layer of the 
DL must be understand what layer they are belonging to. So from this data, actually it's sufficient for us to import to our Xeon Earth. But before you go into it, one more thing you do, you need to identify the survey point, the layer name. After that, you only go to our Xeon to do the import. So that's about uh, data preparations.